From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Real estate investment company Improvan on February 16 broke ground on a new warehouse and logistics facility, the Dakota Precinct, at Rand Airport Commercial Park. Tasneem Bulia tells us more. The development will be split into five phases and the project cost is estimated at 1.3 billion rand. Nedbank Property Partners is a key funder and shareholder of the project. Improvon CEO Stefano Contaldo expands on the project. The development is a 250,000 square meter land portion upon which we'll build out roughly 130,000 square meters of warehousing distribution centers. The development will be characterized by a 24-hour manned gatehouse, fully secured perimeter fence, large boulevards, you know, representing modern um, standards in terms of development and accessibility, as well as building out A-grade warehousing distribution logistics um, principles. So large yards, um, flat floors, clear height to underside of eaves, um, essentially circulation for large trucks, docking ability, and um, various other required aspects for modern-day warehousing distribution. Contado outlines the significance of the company breaking ground on the development. Today is quite significant. Obviously, it marks the start of this uh, development for us. It's a large project for us and we expect it to roll out over the next five to seven years, depending on the market conditions, and um, take up by clients in the area. Contado outlines the reasons the company is undertaking this project and the fundamentals underpinning its confidence in this. We start with the physical property um, you know, fundamentals. The location of the Rand Airport um, Dakota Precinct is its proximity to major arterials, access to the N3 going north and south by the N17 as well as the M2, and the ability to move east to west, north and south, and take alternative routes, which are obviously not compromised if there is a snarl up in traffic. So that is a fundamental for us, is a really you know, key principle in terms of selecting a property location followed by the fact that you know, it represents a great strategic location for businesses looking to break bulk and to distribute into Gauteng. Um, coupled with the fact that um, we believe we'll be able to offer a very competitive um, price position, especially on the basis of it being an A-grade warehousing distribution park, um, we believe we'll be able to offer you know, a value for money product without compromising on quality. Contado highlights the benefits that this project will engender. During the construction phase, depending on the projects, we expect to employ between 450 to 500 people per um, phase development. And obviously over the life cycle of this, over five to seven years, you know, we see that translate into a multitude of jobs on the ground. And thereafter, in the operational phase of, of um, the life cycle of this project, you know, the actual park will employ a substantial number of people to maintain and manage and keep the park going forward and to maintain the high levels of quality that we'd like to instill in the park, as well as giving the opportunity to new businesses to grow and to flourish and to take up additional space and uh, you know, take advantage of a, a quickly shifting market, which is tending towards you know, a strong e-commerce type environment um, and more warehousing distribution activities. Contado expands on the expected challenges and how these will be mitigated. Like any development, you know, the, you know, the constraints are obviously market driven. Um, hopefully the South African economy continues its um, upward trajectory and its recovery and that will obviously then foster and grow the underlying principles of economic, um, you know, the economic principles that will drive the consumption models and therefore drive the need for warehousing and distribution space. With that in mind, you know, we have various other limitations, um, looking at how we can get our approvals in time, managing the rollout, um, marrying our product supply with the demands of the, um, the tenants and the people that are looking to take up the space. Um, those are all factors that we need to consider and you know, amidst the backdrop of um, some stiff competition in the marketplace, making sure we can marry the, the need for yields from our investors' perspective with the rentals from the tenants' perspectives. Contado touches on the city of Ikuralene's involvement. The city is absolutely key to us. Um, it's basically a partnership. We have to work hand in glove with the city to ensure that we roll things out properly 
and compliantly. We actually we're very focused on compliance. We want to make sure that the the development ticks all the necessary boxes. And obviously, working with the city, um, it's it's a lot easier to get things done if you work with people rather than against people. And it's absolutely key for us, therefore, to keep the guys close and to ensure that they're aware of what we're doing, how we're doing it, why we're doing it, and seeing if we can find common ground where need be. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.